Hey there, Nate and Drew here. Plan for today is to show you how quick and easy it is to get your Contour HD ready to shoot straight out of the box. Our buddies Jason, Brian, and Cam are getting ready behind us. I'm gonna go see if they need a hand. Meanwhile, Nate's gonna go over some of the components you'll see when you open the Contour box. Well, most importantly, you have the camera, the battery, and the memory card. Secondly, you have the two included helmet mounts, and to round it all off, you have the USB cable, which you use later to download the footage off the cam. Now everything you need comes already in the box, so you're literally ready to start shooting video the second you walk out the store. Well, it looks like the guys are ready to go, so let's get up there and start shooting. Now back at the car, we did a couple things to prep the camera. Uh, first of all, you want to make sure you insert both your battery and your memory card, because obviously if you don't do one of those, you're probably not going to get much filming done that day. And before you start filming, you're also going to want to mount your camera. Now each camera comes with two different kinds of mounts, both a goggle mount and a helmet mount. So depending on what kind of gear you're using, you'll figure out what will work best for you that day. For the helmet mount, all you need to do is find a flat surface, peel off the backing, and slap it on. For best results, I would suggest using the side of the helmet. Now the center part of the mount is actually removable, so you can use it to adjust the vertical tilt once the camera's already on. The second included mount is the goggle strap mount. If you wear an open face helmet or wear goggles, this might be your best bet. All you need to do is slide the goggle strap into the mount, snap the cover piece in place, and you're all set. Well, it looks like we're all set. Now all we need to do is get these cameras fired up and pointed in the right direction. So we've got our camera with our battery and memory card. Check. We've got our mount secure and mounted. Yep. Well, I guess all that we have to do is power on the camera. It only takes a couple seconds for the camera to boot up. You'll see a couple of lasers come on, followed by a short beep, and then you're good to go. And now that your camera's powered on, you can choose to shoot in either standard or high definition mode. Just use the toggle switch on the back of the camera, set your preference, and then slide the camera onto the mounting rails. By pressing down the rear button, you'll activate a pair of laser guides, which we highly recommend everybody do before they dive in. It helps make sure you've got the right shot orientation and, in general, that you've got a good angle. It basically can mean the difference between a great view or an angle that just shows the front tire, unless that's what you're going for, of course. So once you've checked your vertical and horizontal orientation, all you have to do is slide the top switch forward, and now you're recording. To end your video, just slide the top switch back. Each time a separate file is created to make it that much easier to sort and organize your videos. So when you're ready to go again, just rinse and repeat. So at the end of the day, once you've gotten all your successes and failures on film, you'll want to download it onto a computer or laptop. And since we're all a little famished after the long day, we're going to head in for some food, drinks, and a little post-ride screening. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're back. We got a couple of sodas, our computer, and our camera. So, to start downloading your videos, start by connecting your camera to your computer via the USB cable. Once you've done that, the desktop software will pop up on your computer. And in the left-hand window, click on the connected camera, highlight the videos you'd like to import, and then click download. Now a window will pop up where you can edit the video specific info, add tags, or drop a flag to mark its location. But we'll get into that another time. Just click the OK button, your download will start. After a few moments, your videos will be safely stored on your computer where you can premiere them to your eager fans. But sometimes a video might have a little dead space at the beginning, or there's just a section you want to keep. Just use the clipping feature to trim off the ends, or cut out a section and get right at the action. Now once you have your description, tags, and info filled out, just click on the share button and your video will be uploaded to your profile on vholder.com. There it will join thousands of other videos as well as a world of producers who are just as eager to go out and shoot and share video. So thanks for watching. Now if you'll excuse us, we got to watch some videos before we head out to the track. Cue it up.